Hello. Now let's take a broader view of this VR classroom. I put my headset on. I'm actually immersed in this environment. And if I look around this room, you'll notice it's a large classroom. And in front of the classroom is the big screen for our Teams meeting. And also, one of the first things I see when I walk in is this diagram with the PC controls. And that's because if I came in using a 2D app, such as uh, for PC or for Mac, then I need the keyboard and the mouse to get around and to interact with things. So I get that help right away. And then the other thing you may notice is this globe that's spinning over here on the teacher's desk. I love this. When I came into the room, it asked me, would you be willing to share your location with everyone else in this world? And I said, yes. And you can see that it put a push pin on the globe in Seattle, where I am. So imagine if the room was filled with students from all over the world, we could examine the globe and see where everybody is. That's a big step up from the globe that used to be on the teacher's desk back in my day. Now then, as we go around the teacher's desk and we look up in the front, we see there's our screen with our team's meeting. This is the same screen you would see if you were going to a team's meeting uh, without the virtual reality experience. And in this case, the class is talking about satellites in space. And so the teacher may be in Teams and may be using a uh, uh, presenting tool such as PowerPoint to present the diagram of uh, the satellite. In addition to that, um, I can also add interactive objects directly in the classroom, such as this model of the solar system right here that they can actually interact with along with objects such as this laser pointer that they can select and use to point at things on the diagram or to answer a question about one of the planets or any other diagram object. Laser pointers are a lot of fun. But this is one of a hundred different interactive objects available in the room. So what I really love about this is the teachers and those who are proctors with the teachers can present directly from Teams as usual. And everyone in the classroom will be able to observe and listen to them. What people often do is they'll put proctors like you and I in this space, and therefore we can actually walk up to students, interact with them, shake hands with them, play with objects with them, and do other things directly in the virtual reality space. And then because we are, have a Teams account, we can share it in the chat and so forth. So only people with a Teams account can actually present from Teams meeting, but all the students can hear and observe and interact through proctors in the virtual reality space. So this is a great way to uh, upgrade your learning experiences to to include interactive and 3D environments. Now, I happen to have built this in Unity, but you can build it in anything you want. You're, only your imagination is where you're limited. And Altspace actually has dozens of three-click build templates that you can just use whenever you'd like. So you don't have to make your own worlds. Uh, you, it, they can be whatever you want. Imagine being able to learn about the moon while you're standing on it. That's totally possible with Altspace VR. So in my next part, if you choose to stay on, I'm going to show you the art of the possible. What can virtual reality classrooms experiences give to the students? And what can it enable teachers to do? So I look forward to seeing you in part three. I hope you'll stay on for that.